You obviously coached Robert Griffin III. You know him very well. Give us your insight into how this young man, who I've supported maybe to a fault on this show, but how this young man has gone from NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year to fighting for his job in Washington. You know, it's it's funny you ask me about Robert. Actually, uh, I had lunch with him yesterday in Waco. Did you? you know, he, I mean, our guys come back and hang out in Waco, you know, when they have time, so he's there. And we were there a couple hours. and. You know, I, I think it's a process of things. You know, I was talking with somebody backstage, you know, earlier. I mean, it's hard for QBs at that position because of the scrutiny they're under to maintain a certain level over a long period of time. Very few people can do it. You know, it's, it's just hard to do once you hit that level. And I think, you know, Robert jumps into the first year and, and rookie of the year wins the, wins the division, wins a playoff game. You know, everybody thinks it's just going to happen like that. You know, that's not the way it is. You know, it's, it's mm. hard to stay at that level because when you get there, everybody's shooting at you. That's why you see very few repeat champions. I mean, we did it. Florida State did it in the Power Five conferences this year. Mm -hmm. Nobody else did it. It's hard to do. We'll see if Seattle can do it in the mm -hmm. NFL. But, you know, that when you get to that level, there's too many people wanting you to come down. And I think, you know, the deal with Robert, you know, I mean, I, I, I love where his attitude is right now. I mean, his mind was as good yesterday and his spirit as I've seen it in two years. He's mm -hmm. not a broken man. You know, you can get broken at that position. Yes, he's can. not that way. He's powerful. He's strong. He's one of the best, you know, competitors that I've ever been around. And he's got athletic ability to back it up. So I, I think the future's bright. You know, it's not a three-year, four-year span. It's a ten-year span. Let's judge him after ten well, years. I, if you allow me to interject, I, I like RG3 a lot. And I think on a lot of occasions he's gotten a bad rap. And particularly as an African-American, his level of intellect, his approach to life, I really admire it. However... I'd be remiss in neglecting to bring up the fact that one of the biggest problems doesn't appear to be his ability. Mm. It's appear to, it appears to be his ability to galvanize do, those guys around him. I remember I was watching a game against the Philadelphia Eagles, and one of the things that resonated with me, Coach, was the fact that when he got knocked down, not a single teammate came to help him up once the game had been decided. It was Philadelphia Eagles walking over to help him up. All his teammates had just disbanded. This was not this season, but the last yep. season. And, and I bring that up because so much has been made about RG3 being about RG3 and that being the biggest impediment to his success. You know him on a more personal level than any of us do. What do you say to that? Because people have said that about him for more than a year and a half now. Uh, I say he's very misunderstood, quite honestly. A lot of things that he says is misinterpreted, you know, to the general public and, and to us in, in general. But and Robert, by his teammates. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and Robert... Uh, you know, when, when you're a very intelligent person, which he is, you know, a lot of times you, you can lose the fact that, uh, you know, a lot of times you have to mainstream a little bit, you know, and, and I've never had that problem because I've always, you know, when you're a C student trying to make a B, you know, you, you pay attention and you learn, gotcha. you know, and I, I know you threw galvanized and some of those words out there on us, but, you know, that's, 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 part, of, that's part of your journey also. But I'm just saying, you know, I, I think when you judge something about that, about somebody helping somebody up off the ground, you know, I mean, a lot of times guys want to get up on their own. You know, I'm not mm. sure that that really dictates, you know, how they feel about him. You know, they, they know in the locker room how he'll fight to win. And that was one of the things I told him coming out. I said, Robert, you know, you're looking at a 10-year window. I know how he competes. I know how he'll try to make the play, you know, in a preseason game. And you can't do that in the league because it's all about longevity. You know, and that's what you got to do. And you got to stay healthy. And so he, he'll sacrifice his body, you know, for the opportunity to win. And that's what I love about him more than anything else is that he will compete for the guys in that locker room. He'll compete for the game. Mm -hmm. And all that other stuff can be interpreted however you want to interpret it. Because it's like I tell our coaches when we're watching tape and evaluating players, you can see what you want to see. You can hear what you want to see, sure. see you know. And so you're going to make the evaluation that you want to make based on how you feel about that situation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I say let, let facts speak. Mm -hmm. Let facts speak. Okay. Coach, what concerned me this year, again, as a supporter, he just never looked right. He never looked the same. And he's come off the bad knee injury, obviously, and the ankle dislocation. I couldn't see the old RG3, the quickness or the speed, maybe even the confidence in the quickness and the speed. From talking to him yesterday, how healthy is he? He's good. I mean, he yeah. weighs 217 pounds. He's healthy. You know, like I said, spiritually, he's good. His mind's good. Yeah. His soul's good. His what do you mean good. by that? I mean, he's, he just feels good. You know, I mean, there's, He's not there's, upset about the fact that he no has to fight for his job. No, ma'am. Mm. I mean, uh, now I'm not going to say that. You know, and to me, it's all about an organization 
saying this is our guy and having confidence in that guy. I mean, he did win on the division title. He was rookie of the year. You know, I don't have any division titles. Washington's won the last 20 years, but I think it's one. And I think Robert was the guy that did it when they won it. So to me, you look at other organizations and franchises across the nation that have stuck with quarterbacks and saying, this is our guy, where maybe they haven't won at the level Robert did win at. Mm -hmm. But they committed that guy and they said, he's going to take us there. And so you, what you do is structure the scheme around the person that you're putting in your franchise. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to lead your franchise. You don't always have him adapt to what you want to do, adapt to what his abilities but are. But coach. And that's what, you know, that's but, to but me, that's. coach. Come on, give you me just, something, Stephen. <laughs> give me just, something. You I mean, just that. finished, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, you don't just be finished sorry. saying, talking about facts. Fact is, over the last year and a half, two seasons, he hasn't been winning games. That is a fact. That is, that is that true. That is a fact, coach. Well, I mean, throw it, throw it in a scheme that, that occupies with a different mentality and then see if the fact changes. Now, you know what, what you're what saying. Think. Now, you understand no, what you're I, saying here because you're a coach. No, and I'm so, just saying. So, so, so I'm, I'm saying, saying if, a scheme, a system. I'm saying if he's going to be our guy, let's do what our guy does best and okay. let's see if he can How go much of an effect do you, do you believe the presence or the success of Andrew Luck has impacted him? And I asked that question because Andrew Luck's number one. He's number two. Right. He's a highly competitive individual mm -hmm. because that's how he was great to begin with. And everybody's talking about Andrew Luck and the job that he does. How cognizant or how aware do you believe RG3 is of that? You know, I can't answer that because okay. we haven't talked about that. And Andrew is a great football player, and he's a great football player coming out of college, as he was in high school in the state of Texas. And he was the first pick, and Robert was the second pick. So some other people thought that, you know, he might have a better professional career. But I, I still think, you know, let's, let's judge at the end of the day. And to okay. me, the day's in the morning, and when he gets to the evening after 10 years, let's judge and make mm. a comment.